Hey. Hey. It looks kind of different. I'm in a slightly different spot. Just because where I usually have my setup, you wouldn't have been able to see this guy. And he's the star of the show, so. Yeah. So I got this as a birthday present. My birthday is on Tuesday. So when this goes up, my birthday is tomorrow. Yikes. I feel like I'm really far away. I'm sorry. I like don't know a way to get this all in frame and me still be in frame and have it closer. I'm also not wearing makeup on my eyes because I thought I was developing a sty on this eye. But I think I just pinched it with an eyelash curler. But either way, I'm keeping makeup off of it so that it's gone by my birthday. Anyway, today I'm going to clean this and then try my best to paint the spots that are all scuffed and fucked up. Because he has some spots, like, in his face area that are, like, the paint is a little chipped, and then also some of the stripes on his back are also fucked up. So I'm gonna try and fix it. I've never done anything like this. I'm, like, an artsy person, I guess. I paint and whatnot, so I feel like it can't be that hard. Like, I feel like it's not gonna be that bad. However, the cleaning part is actually what I'm worried about because I don't know what I'm allowed to clean this with. I did Google it. Google did say I could use just, like, glass cleaner. And I'm scared that they lied to me, but I am going to do it anyway. The best part is, though, is that I d it doesn't have to work as a phone. I'm not confident that it does work as a phone. It is a phone. Did I say that? Hello? But yeah, the guy who sold it to me did not clean it before selling it to me, but that's okay. That, was not, that wasn't part of the deal. He said he'd sell it, and he did. It was actually a gift from my friend Zach, so shout out to my friend Zach. I'm trying to low-key set up my phone in a way that maybe I can get like a closer video of this, and then I can just edit it on top of this one. So it's like both like me and then also the phone, but I don't know how to do that because there's nothing to prop my phone up on. And it's not like I can hold my phone. I'm gonna use the glass cleaner and then probably regret it. Oh, I was gonna put on gloves too and I didn't, but that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna start with his eyes because his eyelids are gunky as fuck. If this strips the paint, I'll cry. I will. Oh, I should have brought, like, Q-tips to really get in there. But I don't feel like getting back up to get them, so... Okay, it seems to be working so far. Okay, Slay! This is going fine. Excellent. He's gonna be good as new in no time. I literally said in, I think, my last video that I got outbid on eBay for one of these guys. Ew, that's disgusting. But, um... But now I have one anyway, so it worked out in the end. Because I did in fact get outbid, and I was literally devastated, and I had like, had, like just enough like budgeted to get that one if I hadn't gotten outbid. And so when I got outbid, I was like truly deeply devastated, and so I spent the money on something else to try and make myself feel better. And then literally like two days later, I got like an offer from an eBay seller about another Garfield phone and it was like a really discounted price, like really discounted, but I didn't have the money anymore and so I was like devastated and I was like complaining about it to one of my friends and they got it for me as a birthday present. So thank you Zachary. This is actually working phenomenally. This was what I was nervous about. I'm not super nervous about the painting part. I'm like pretty confident in my abilities to do that. I need to clean his actual eyeballs. I taped the part down that like holds his eyeballs closed because the phone doesn't hold them fully closed and so it just looks like, you know when dogs are sleeping and sometimes their eyes are like partially open still? That is what it looks like. God, imagine getting your eyeballs cleaned with glass cleaner. That's crazy. If you were looking for like an aesthetic restoration video, that's not what this is, nor is it a professional one as I do not know what I'm doing at all. And I'm just winging it and hoping and praying, as with most of the things that I do on this channel. Oh, he's gonna be beautiful in no time. This is going so fantastically. 
bright eyed and bushy tailed, bro. I think it's so funny the amount of people who were like genuinely happy for me when I received this item because I have not shut up about it. Like, I, as previously stated, I've wanted one of these for like six years. I have like a Garfield item checklist of like staple Garfield items that I desperately want and have wanted since finding out that they exist. And this was on that list. The rest of that list, or at least a majority of that list, consists of the Garfield fish tank, or it's like a, like a light up aquarium, the Garfield clock with the moving tail. I definitely have more. I don't know why I'm blinking so hard right now. Like I can't seem to think of any of them. It's really going to frustrate me if I can't remember the rest of my, or at least like the main ones on my checklist. I feel like there's one more like big one. One more important one. I mean, they're all important, but like, gotta really get in between his toes. Don't need toe jam. Toe fungus? Gross. When I was a kid, I had like the OG, like Garfield comic, like the books, they were like long, horizontally, and like thick as fuck. And I had like a collection of them and I used to sit inside of my closet and read them while sitting on my dresser for hours, just seated in my closet. It's what I did for fun. I also had a few Snoopy ones. Well, it was like the Peanuts, but they were specifically Snoopy. Like it was the Snoopy editions of the Peanuts. But yeah, I was just sitting there for hours doing that. I also read the children's Bible in there. Not really sure why. I wasn't raised religious. Have I told you guys that I also used to go to church every Sunday, but only so I could go lake monster hunting? I definitely told that story on TikTok, but I don't know that I've told you guys. So basically, story time. Basically, as a small child, we had a family friend who was very religious. He's like a super nice man, though. I would just like to preface this. This man is so kind. Like, probably one of the most genuinely kind people I've ever met in my whole life. But anyway, he was very, very religious. And like I said, me and my brother were not raised religious. We were raised with, like, you can believe whatever you want to believe. So we could have been religious if we wanted to be. Like, it was just a whatever you want to learn about and believe is your choice. Um, but this man was very, very religious and he offered to bring us to church every Sunday, us being me and my brother. And then like, if we went to church with him, he would bring us out and about um, in the city. Well, the closest thing to a city that our state has, which is Burlington, Vermont. And so obviously we were kids and we wanted to go to the city so fucking badly because it was so much more fun than our little town. And also because the main place that he would take us after church is Lake Champlain. And if you don't know, Lake Champlain, there's like a legend that there's a lake monster named Champ that lives in the lake. And my brother and I believed in him so bad and we were so deeply invested in the lore of Champ. So despite the fact that we personally found church very, very boring and weren't religious in the slightest, we went to church every Sunday for like a year so that we could go to Lake Champlain and try to find Champ because they have those little binocular things on the edge of like, I don't know what to call it, the, the, the waterfront, I guess. Um, and so we would spend hours just like looking for Champ. We did not find him, womp womp. I still believe he's in there though. I believe them. I need to get like, you know those glasses that have a camera in them? That people have been posting like on TikTok with and shit? I need to get one of those specifically for videos like this. So that like it can be like my point of view of watching this. I actually don't love the idea of those glasses, but I think in this instance it could be very helpful. I was just gonna do this today anyway, not on camera. But then I was like, I feel like this is fun. Like, I feel like, like this would be a fun thing to do together, you know? I love forcing you people to do everyday things with me. Like I always say, it's just like we're friends on FaceTime. That's, that's what 90% of my content is. I really should have brought Q-tips in here. I know I already said that, but I think they would really be helpful for getting deep in the crevices. 
No, it's okay. We're making do. I really should have put on gloves also. I literally have gloves right here. That's what these are. They also have worms for brains and thus forgot. Keep getting too focused and forgetting that I'm supposed to also be at least mildly entertaining. At least yapping a little bit. Do you guys want to hear something so tragic? Not only will Dunkin' Donuts be closed on my birthday, my local Dunkin' Donuts will be closed on my birthday. Which, if you know me, I'm very passionate about Dunkin' Donuts. But also, the only restaurant in this town that I actually like enjoy enjoy will also be closed on my birthday. So, I low-key think I'm almost done with the cleaning portion and then we can get to the fun part, the painting. To clean the actual phone part too. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm literally so dumb. Okay, whatever. That was the dumbest thing I've ever said in my entire life. That's not true, but wow, that was crazy. In case you were wondering, I was why wondering why the cord was no longer attached to the phone. That would be because it's attached to like the actual phone part, not the base part and the phone is off the hook. So obviously, the cord wouldn't be attached anymore. You dumb fucking bitch. That was crazy, that was like really dumb. Wow, sometimes I shock myself. Like you guys think you're flabbergasted about the things that come out of my mouth? I am just as shocked, if not more shocked than you are. Sometimes I speak and I'm like, wow. Okay, I think the base is all clean. Slay. Everybody say slay. Can I get a slay from the crowd? Corny. Anyway, now for the phone part. Okay. Ugh. She's grimy. She is. It's gross. That's okay. Ugh. I'm a little confused how it got this gross. Like, how does a. I don't know. That's fine. None of my business. I should be wearing gloves, but I need to wash my hands like 8,000 times after this. Worth it! This whole ordeal has, unfortunately, caused me to develop an eBay addiction, though. Because, like, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but I'm, like, super obsessed with scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, mostly just because some of the wackest shit I've ever seen in my life is on there, and also there's some super cool stuff, and that's just fun. I should have taken a before picture of this before I... That's okay. Of the phone part, because it was really gross. Really gross. But I already fixed probably the grossest part. Like, how does the phone get dirty to the point of being sticky? Why is it sticky? I accidentally fucked with the settings on my camera, and now I can't fix it. I don't know why. It won't go back. And so... Also, please don't dog on me for my paper towel usage. These paper towels were like in something weird, so the bottom of them is like gross. So I can't really use them for like a ton of things. So I'm using them for this. And I know it's like, it seems wasteful and I'm sorry. And I'm trying to use each one until I cannot use it anymore. So that I'm using as few as possible, but it's still turning out to be a lot of them. Okay, inside of the phone, done. Now for the outside. I did regret that immediately, which is fine. Happens to the best of us. This is like an arm workout, bro. Okay, one more go over and then I think we're done with the cleaning part. And then we can paint. Who's excited? I'm excited. Oh my god. Jesus, great heavens. Okay. Okay, there are some marks and scuffs that are just holding on for dear life, refuse to leave me. And that's fine. That's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now we paint. Who's excited? I already asked you that, I know, but like... Okay, first I have to mix a color, and that is the scariest part for me. Because what if it's wrong? Because I'm going to do his, like, face section first. Like, his mouth. 
Um, I have these things. They're actually the tops of, like, you know when you get, like, a pack of, like, beers? And they have that thing holding them all together? That's what these are, but I use them as paint palettes. Because it's so convenient. It's, like, perfect. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of white. Oh, why is it a bubble? Oh, that can't be good. I'm gonna shake it and hope it all works out. Anyway. Ooh, that does not look correct. That's fine. Then I'm gonna add the slightest, teeniest, tiniest, little itty bitty bit of yellow. Oh my god. This could be satisfying. Oh no. I already have paint all over my hands. Ah! Oh, well. Me. This could be satisfying. Also me. Covered in paint. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Aha! Success. Okay, teeny, 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 weeny, beeny little flip of yellow. Oh, I do think that was too much, actually. That's fine. We'll just add more white if it is too much. Actually, maybe that's like perfect. I think it might be a little bit too yellow. Oh god. Like, it comes out too fast, I fear. Okay, wait, no, it's actually kind of perfect. I'm a god. I'm literally a god. If this works, and well, you, you'll never be able to say anything about me ever again. Like, this is just too good. Ugh, oh, I'm the best there ever was. I think if anything it's a little too white, but I'd honestly rather have it be a little too white than a little too yellow. Oh my god. Slay. 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 You know those color matching videos on TikTok where they like mix the paint and they like match the colors perfectly? I'm obsessed with those videos. And now I'm convinced I could do it. I'm just kidding. I don't think I could do that. But I also feel like maybe it'll dry a little bit darker than it's going on, you know? And if anything, at least it looks better than it did before. You know? Okay, Slay. That went phenomenally. Genuinely. Like, from the bottom of my heart. That went so fucking well. Okay. Now onto the stripes, which I am scared about. Because of getting the shape right? I have, okay, so I have this paint pen that is black, and then I also have, like, black paint, and I don't know which sounds like a better idea. Or I'm scared. I feel like maybe the paint pen, but... I don't know. I feel like maybe I should just try it. In, like, a small spot, and then if it works well... Continue to do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, slay. Okay, wait. Yeah, no, this is great. This is good. This is excellent. Okay, I think I'm- I think this is fine. These ones are harder though because like it's hard to know where they were, you know? And they're smaller, so it's like more precise. But I kind of slayed that one, I think. Perhaps I did. Perhaps I'm eating. Sorry, I can't stop speaking in brain rot.
Holding the phone while doing this is a little bit difficult, but that's okay, because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Stop saying slay. Please and thanks. Please and thank you. Please and thanks. The smaller ones are harder because the tip of the paint pen is like very thick. Do they make thinner paint pens? Because I need to acquire some of those perhaps. Just honestly, at this point, hire me for all of your restoration needs. Like, is this getting repetitive for you? Speaking of my hyperfixations from when I was a child, I've recently started rewatching Supernatural again, which I watched for the first time at the age of 13. Well, started watching for the first time at the age of 13. And it's just as good as I remember. And I am re-obsessed with it. I'm gonna drop some lore about myself that people in my real life might know but might not know the context about. So basically, when I was like 14 years old, I decided I didn't like my name. And this was like peak supernatural obsession, right? And so my name is Anna, obviously. And I started going by Deanna for like a really short period of time. Um, and this was because Dean Winchester, D Anna, Dean. That's why. I don't think I ever told anybody that that was why, but if anyone from my real life is watching this and ever wondered, there's the lore. That was incredibly tedious, but I would say that it was worth it because it is done, and I am, in fact, proud of my work. I do think I did a little bit slay. I do think that I did. One thing that I realized is he does have a scuff on his nose, and I don't know that I have the colors I need to fix that, so perhaps I will fix it at a later date, but for now, slay. Slay. The paint's not entirely dry, so it does look a little wonky right now, because it is still a little wet. Also, my hands are covered in paint. But that's fine. I did also just want to say that I feel like on the internet lately there's been a lot of talk about like the merchification and memification of Garfield and like what the internet has done to Garfield and I just want to say that I agree. I do. I do. And like Jim Davis saying that he hopes that Garfield isn't just merch. You know what I mean? And I agree. I do. 100%. And I just want to like make that very clear that this is the furthest thing from a meme to me. Okay? Garfield has been important to me since before I even touched the internet. Garfield was the first cartoon character that I ever learned how to draw and sparked my love of drawing cartoon characters and he's very important to me, okay? Very, very special to me. But anyway, that's the final result. Hopefully I've inserted like a good close-up video somewhere. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you don't clown on me too hard. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next Monday.